Hello! Okay, not just Mars edition, we also have some uh, dinosaurs and even a really cool seaplane. Uh, so stay tuned for the Martian edition. Hey hey! Okay, so I've been obsessed with Mars for years. I read the Andy Weir book, I haven't seen the film yet, but I thought I would make a six wheel rover vanilla. Uh, the background's not vanilla, as you can see. ITR helped me out by giving me uh, an improved colour machine to colour the landscape, um, but the rest of it is pure vanilla. I didn't copy the, the Martian rover itself because I haven't seen a film yet and it, it moves around. It looks as if it wouldn't move around very well in the siege, is what I'm trying to say, so I, um, I gave that a miss. But once I've seen the film, I will have another go at it. But, uh, meanwhile, uh, this is the one. Uh, if we take the body off, uh, you can see that the suspension um, is double wishbone, but it's acting on the far away uh, suspension block rather than the near one, so they're serving the opposite sides here. Um, so I'll do a tutorial on this at some point, but um, I thought you would like to see it on bare. And also I did uh, an, a modded version with the big wheels and uh, all sorts of other things, but it was a bit too lively in terms of uh, putting bodies on it because it was just wobbling about all over the place but it still made it quite an interesting project anyway this is my favourite scene from the standard one where it goes sideways then goes straight on and then climbs the side of the crater wall that you see ahead uh, again it's all vanilla the, the wheels you need to change the mapping if you want it to move sideways but that's all you have to do so yeah copes with it quite well I think what do you think of the orange colour for the Mars? I mean, I know Mars is a lot of different red colours, but um, this is the closest I could get, I thought, to a sort of uh, late evening where the sun is. Uh, Mars type situation. Uh, I made a new style walker. And it's um, it's a very simple, but it's just a, a geom geometric form that it's based on. That's those central bars that you see there. They keep it in all the wheels in time and they make the feet form a sort of elliptical path. Uh, this is an eight-legged uh, version of it, which I called Spider Pig in the file name for some reason or other. And I decided just to make it into a dinosaur, just to have a bit of a laugh. So this guy is up for having a fight with his potato masher feet, and then he decides he's a pacifist, and he's out of there, makes a bolt for the exit, doesn't like it, and cue Benny Hill music. So away he goes, and uh, eventually... He runs out of steam and he remembers that he's supposed to be extinct and he just expires. Yeah, there you go. A lot of fun. It's a great walker. Uh, there's a tutorial for it at the end of the video, so make sure you check that out. Seaplane time. Someone, Enderbill being the someone, asked me to make a uh, seaplane, so I rose to the challenge. Now, the problem with seaplanes is when you go to take off, the floats uh, just drag you into the water like that. You just, there's no way around it. So what you do to get around that is you put jets, uh, water cannons, into the floats themselves. You do need adjustable cannons for this to make this go. But once you've got that, you give it a touch of both the cannons and the props to get off and then take your finger off the cannons to level out and um, start flying about. Landing's the same procedure. You're better off using uh, a quick burst of the jets just as you come into land so that you do, don't go uh, arse over tip as you hit the water. Now, it took me a while to learn to fly this, because this is only the second plane I've ever made, and I've never flown a plane before. Um, so there you go. A bit late on the jets there, but it's, it was okay. The pilot got his feet wet. After a couple of practices, um, I got a lot better at it. I'd, I'd made the, uh, the aerolons um, centre-mounted rather than hinge-mounted, and that was a mistake. I think next one I make, I won't do that. I'll just do it the conventional way. But it still worked okay, but it should have banked a lot quicker. Okay, and we're now practicing getting a bit of a altitude here, and then we're going to go in for some acrobatics, uh, aerial acrobatics. That is. So that was a better land. And again, a little spurt of jets as you come down. Right, uh, this was an attempt at a loop. It didn't really work, but uh, it still came out looking okay. So get the flaps down, and then elevator up. Hit the jets and then just at the right point, hold on, we need to get some more altitude, that wasn't quite enough. We'll just boost it up again, hit the jets again. And then kill the props, keep the jets on, 
tail goes over, and down you come. But it was a bit of a roll in that one, so that wasn't quite right. Here we go. This one is better. <clears throat> and off it goes. Nose up hard right away. Nice rate of climb. Elevator straight. Flaps are straight. Kill it. Bring it back on. And hey. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's go for the big one. Let's go for a double. Double loop. Here we go. We up. Got to make it. Yes, just in no more. Straight up. Yes, nice. So I completed the double loop, but boink. <laughs> a little bit of an accident. Okay, that's it, folks. Um, here's the tutorial I promised you on the walker. Have a look at it if you want to build it. Until that, I will see you next Wednesday. Cheers. Bye. Okay, where have we got? So we've got all our um, knee joints, hip joints, and everything else is in place. What we now want is. Um, uh, the lower limbs, shins. Are